There are certain nuggets of wisdom that get passed down the generations and repeated quite often, uh, written in books which are then read by people who then write other books and repeat it again and then someone makes a video and then he says it again because well it's, it's what they say so presumably it's true and even if you haven't uh, in researched it independently you could believe it, it seems quite reasonable and so you repeat it and I have done the same. But if we then later discover that perhaps there's not very good evidence for this thing that you say on over and over. Well, maybe we should flag these things up. And so here I'm doing that now. The pilum. The pilum is the standard throwing weapon of the Roman legionary of the uh, late Republic and the Imperial period, at least the earlier Imperial period. Um, you're probably familiar with it. It's the one with the long, thin and often softened and bendy bit of uh, iron before the spike. And there are two kinds. That's what I was told and that's what I told other people. There are two kinds. There's the light pilum which gets thrown whoop, up into the air to rain down onto the enemy from a distance of about 30 yards and that seems perfectly sensible because it's the lighter one of the two it would go further. So yeah 30 yards seems a perfectly good reasonable range to throw that sort of thing and then you throw your second pilum and that's the one with the lead heavy weight on it and you throw that really really close and again that makes perfect sense because it's really heavy so it wouldn't go very far but hey it would pack one a hell of a punch at close range and so you throw that one about six yards which gives you time to then draw your short sword your gladius and get in there and you'd be able to take advantage of the impact of your pilum before the enemy could react could uh, sort out his shield and, and perhaps it even uh, stopped reeling from the, the impact. So six yards again perfectly reasonable distance. The trouble is that um, it seems that there's actually very little evidence that Roman soldiers carried two pila. Um, I don't know of any in fact. Uh, no, that's not completely true. Uh, there's one gravestone which has a, a relief sculpture on it of a guy with, with two peeler, but that's it as far as I know. Um, I've not come across any literary reference from the period saying that each man carried two. So it's perfectly possible that each man actually only carried one. Uh, there are plenty of sculptures and pictures showing them carrying one. Um, Trajan's column um, a lot of the weapons were actually separate. They were they weren't carved in with the stone. They were they were bronze added later, and so are now unfortunately missing. But a lot of them seem to have just a, a hole for just just one. It looks as though the guy was just carrying one pilum. So possibly uh, we've been wrong all this time, and we've we've been telling uh, we've been passing on this incorrect knowledge uh, down generations. Maybe we should stop. Um, now it could be the case. I can't prove that they didn't carry two pilum, uh, but. Given that there's no evidence for it, I think it's possibly dangerous to go around saying that they did. And it's also perfectly reasonable to imagine that they might have just carried one because, well, that's one thing less you have to carry. And given that they were disciplined troops in formations, they could easily have had all the guys with the light ones throw together at 30 yards and then the other guys with the heavy ones charge through the gaps and throw the heavy ones at six yards. And so you still get the, the benefit of, of, of two volleys of peeler, um, but each man only has to carry one peeler. And I'm inclined to believe that that's the more likely of the two scenarios. I can't prove it either way. But there you go. So Roman legionaries possibly only carried one peeler. Another reason, by the way, that we might imagine that Roman legionaries only carried one pilum is that the scutum, that is to say the legionaries standard shield, um, this is a, a late one, but it'll do, it has a horizontal handle. Now, if you're throwing a pilum with this hand and you're carrying two, you then have to have the other one in the other hand, which, as you can see, it's not actually that tricky. I just hook a thumb onto it and that's perfectly adequate. Although this one, of course, would be the heavy one if I'm throwing the light one first. So this would be a little bit more awkward. And you've got to imagine you're in a battle situation having to run across rough ground and so forth. So it's just a little bit awkward to hold uh, a second pilum in this hand. But as I think I've just demonstrated, it's actually not that difficult. So um, this doesn't rule it out, but it is an argument used for why they might only have carried one pilum. <laughs> Dindy me!